Okay, if you have followed the tutorial in the article or GitHub repo, uh, you would see in your cloud console the east and west clusters. But what I thought I would do is show a quick example of how uh, deploying a simple pod to the uh, GitHub repository, uh, which I can view here. And if you look into the K8S config, it just has namespaces, RBAC, service accounts. But if I deploy something to it, then we can see it uh, appear on the clusters in real time. So with real quick, let me uh, set up the terminal. OK, and I can see I've got east and west clusters and my kubectl config get contexts. So I just have Docker for desktop on my Mac, but I need the contexts for both of those clusters. So I'll go with the west, and that zone is US west to B. Okay, and I'll do the same thing for east. East 1C. Okay. Okay, so those are really long names. I'm going to rename those real quick. So config. So I'm going to name the east one it's east. Okay. All right, that's a lot easier. So I'm going to set up the uh, terminal so it's easier to see this using uh, tmux. So hold on just one second here. Clear my screen. New session and we'll just call this Argo CD demo. Oh. Sorry about that. And I want to create uh, east and west, but then also have a terminal for doing commands. So I'm going to add a panel here and add panes here. OK, so now we should have left and right panes. And on these lower ones, uh, I'm going to be monitoring the east and west uh, clusters respectively. So if we just do a watch kubectl context east and then we'll do a namespace test namespace and get all. So there shouldn't be anything yet. Okay. And then let's go over here and do the same thing. Uh, kubectl context west. And then we'll do test namespace get all. OK, so there shouldn't be anything in these for now. And so I'm going to switch up to the top browser. And I'm going to move into the folder uh, with the uh, GitHub uh, repository. And like in the tutorial, or you can see this is the structure. And I'm going to move to the k8s config directory.
Okay, and there's namespaces, RBAC, and service accounts. So what I'm going to do is really quick create a pod and then push that pod to the Git repo. Uh, I might temporarily pause the video and then let the servers uh, fetch them because uh, they're probably on different intervals, but uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so a little trick to create a pod from scratch is just using the kubectl run command and then I'm going to name it nginx I'll use the image nginx dry run equals client and the output is yaml and we'll call this pod.yaml could be nginx or whatever but normally we wouldn't put it in the server configs this is just for demo Okay, and I'm going to edit it real quick and add my namespace. And we could tweak it any way we want or set cur set a certain port or whatever, but for now we'll just leave it alone. Okay, so I just need to push this up to this repo. say uh, testing auto sync with pod okay so this pod is pushed up to the git repo and we can confirm that and check in github real quick and refresh this page and now we see this pod.yaml go back to our terminal and I may pause the recording if it takes a while uh, or edit it and take out the uh, time delay just for your sake but we'll let this thing run and we should see both in the west and the east clusters they deploy uh, nginx and just to confirm here real quick back on the workloads we have nothing in the test namespace currently Okay, on the left hand side, we can see in the west cluster, Nginx is, has been deployed already. Oh, and in the east cluster, so that didn't take very long. Uh, now we've got Nginx running on our server, and all we did was push it to a Git repository. Let's confirm that in the cloud console. And I didn't even have to pause the video. <laughs> so let's refresh. Look at that, we've got Nginx running in the east and west clusters. Now, let's remove them, the pod YAML from the GitHub repo, and since we put on auto sync and purge, it will remove this app from our cluster. And of course that's optional. So let's go back to our terminal, clear the screen, and pod.yaml get commit Okay, the West cluster has removed the pod. We didn't get to see the terminating. We'll see if we get to see it on the East. Oh, there's terminating and it's removed. Okay, so let's just confirm back in our terminal. Refresh. 
no longer running on our uh, server, on our clusters. And again, no longer in the folder. So we've maintained state parity between our source code repository and our Kubernetes clusters in two different regions. So thank you and enjoy.